warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning um, and a very good evening to head of delegation from our partnering company, Madam Hasna. Wow. All delegation, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for paying a visit um, to our very young company. Basically, we are, uh, we are responsible to introduce our business to all of you. Since we are a newly incorporated company, uh, we will, um, since we are, um, we will just present our business plan um, to make you know what our company is all about. But before proceed to the main body of our um, before proceed to the main body of our presentation, I would like to introduce to you to you to the dedicated important person in our company. Okay. Um, first of all, I am director of this company. My name is Nur Iman Aiza. If you want to follow my finance and human resource manager, um, Ms. Nur Yana Zubaidi. Administrative manager, Ms. <laughs> Last but not least, Ms. Amitara as our marketing and operation manager. And we have another two workers as the marketing and operation manager. Moving on to goals and objective of business. It is part of a strategic plan of our company that has been designed and formulated by top management um, of our company. Our goal is to our goal is to contribute to the creativity development customer and make their life to be more uh, convenient in facing, um, in facing mounting living costs. In order to do that, we try to provide a product that allow customers to make use of their taste, preference and ideas. Our objective is to penetrate the electrical appliances market in Johor Bahru area since our um, headquarters and factory is located in Johor Bahru. Okay, um, our company's name is Magico. And as you can see here, this is a logo of our company. There are many rubrics here. This is not our product, but we bring this to symbolize the, our company. The reason why we choose Rubik's Cube to um, symbolize our company is because when we so, uh, rotate the Rubik's Cube, it will change and we can see a new thing and a different thing. Same goes to our company. Um, we really appreciate creativity and innovation. Um, and we cre really appreciate uh, creativity and innovation. And Rubik's Cubes is to symbolize the creation of a product to a new product uh, with better improvement and make a difference with other uh, products in the market. So now I will um, pass to the next presenter. Okay, um, all right. Thank you for Mrs. Iman. So I am Noor Amira Abdurraza. is going to introduce you guys about our product. Okay. Um, well, um, our product is actually uh, this one. Ta -da! So what is this guy? So what we call it as a magic island. Uh, we call it as a magic island. So let's say it together. Magic island. <laughs> colors that we offer. The other two colors are red and pink. Okay, um, this uh, iron, um, actually the function of this is to, to of course, uh, it's exactly like a normal iron, but we, uh, we, we, we made it up to with extra features, which is uh, this iron can print out design or pattern because of this uh, high quality cardboard that we put under the metal this metal this metal is so thick so we put the high quality cardboard is under it and then uh, actually um, this iron comes in one box which is include the two years warranty the iron the printer uh, printer is to to print out the to print out design on the paper because the paper later we are going to insert between this metal and this high quality cardboard. Okay. And the printer is to uh, to print the design in the paper. It's actually uh, we have used the USB cable that we provide for you guys. But this USB cable actually are uh, for for connect between the printer and laptop only. But let's say if some people use your your smartphone or the tablets, tablets or any other gadgets besides laptop, so they have to use uh, 
their own cable because these cables only suit between the printer and laptop only. Okay, this one is the paper that we provide because the design or pattern has to be on that paper. So, this will be later I will explain about it. Okay, now I'm going to show it to you guys uh, how to use this iron. Okay, um, first of all, people have to choose their own design, which is uh, they have to search through Google search or any images or any source that you that you guys want. So once, uh, but if uh, some people they know how to draw, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So um, uh, those people who can draw, they can take uh, the they can take uh, this paper and just straight away draw on this paper. So then uh, they have to insert the paper between the metal and the high quality cardboard. So just insert and then just use it as a normal iron. But um, let's say if the people who are not able to draw, so they have to choose, like I said before, uh, you know, like search on the internet or any other sources. So this paper is going to be inserted in the printer, then the design is going out to this paper. So it's just like the same process, which is will be inserted this iron and then iron like a normal. And then the uh, our anecdotes are the examples by using our iron. So now I'm going to explain about our location, which is our factory is located at Johor Bahru. We chose Johor Bahru because it's in the city, so it's easy for us to get the materials. And then what is inside of our factory plant is our factory is divided into two sections. Uh, this one is the right section and this one is the left section okay the right section is we are focusing on the facilities for the workers and staff while for the lot for for the left side is um we are put the production area which is from the beginning until the end of the process of this iron so this is our so this is uh so the process will be end up like this okay so I'm going to pass the presentation to the next presenter. Uh, thank you, Amira. My name is Nur Afrika Mitrahimi and I, as the marketing manager, will explain about SWOT analysis, uh, distribution channel, and also promotion strategy. Okay, but first, let's go to our SWOT analysis. For our strength, we have efficient distribution channel and also marketing strategy. Later, I will explain more briefly about our distribution channel. And we also have a capable and strong management. Since our top management are from high education background, they are from Oxford, from Cambridge, <coughs> so we tend to give a great ideas in order to develop our company. And then we also have sufficient and excellent facilities, such as um, Musola office, uh, Musola office, and also cafeteria. We provide this kind of facilities to ease our customer and our workers so that they can use the facilities well. And then we also our factory also is located in a strategic location which is in Johor Bahru. Which is in Johor Bahru. And then for our weakness, uh, actually we do not have enough workers um, since we are a beginner in this industry and uh, it is hard for us to hire more workers since it involves a lot of capital and then we also hard to communicate with foreign labor it is because we do not understand their language and they do not understand our language and then we also uh, do not provide for USB cable for phone we only provide USB cable for laptop and any other devices that is compatible for our USB cable and for our opportunity uh, our value market is people who have a middle income and people who are busy in a lifestyle and also students who have limited money. And for our track, we also have a problem with our supplier because our supplier is very limited. And in the future, we will try to overcome our problem. And then we have many competitors. Although we are new and our invention is a new invention,
function but our competitors is uh, a company that produces the current product which is a normal iron and then uh, let's move on to distribution channel we as a manufacturing company, manufacturing factory we will produce a lot of magic iron and we will sell it to our wholesaler in an abundant of amount with a cheaper price and then we will and the wholesaler will sell our product to retailer with a higher price and our consumer can buy our product to retailer <coughs> and also through online our product is available in social media such as website instagram twitter and so on and then next let's move on to our promotion strategy uh, we choose three types of promotion strategy which is which are advertising media personal selling and also sales promotion for advertising media we are currently promote our product through television which is through go shop and cj wow shop channel go shop and cj wow shop channel is a channel that promote goods and services to consumer and then we also create our own website such as eh, we also create our own website which is www.magicco.com.my and then we also have a, we also have made an agreement with era fm and they have agreed to promote our product during their commercial slot we also want to promote our product through all the newspaper in Malaysia. and let's move on to personal selling we are going to train our personal seller to demonstrate on how to use this magic iron to our consumer. We are going to demonstrate it uh, at a popular mall such as Parkson, Sogo and also Jasco. And then, uh, last but not least, for the sales promotion. We are going to do a buying allowance for the sales promotion, uh, which is we want to make a temporary price reduction for our reseller if they buy um, specific amount of quantity and then we also want to give a special discount to our customer based on first, first, first come and first serve basis okay, that's all for me I will continue to the next presenter thank you Ms. Uh, Afika so my name is Nurdiana Binti Zubaidi and I will present to you our company's financial projection. So the starting capital for our company is 160,000, where each of our members contribute 40,000 in the first quarter of the year. However, the amount is not fixed and subjected to change according to the needs of our company. In the meantime, we also Applied, we also made a loan from Maybank Berhad for our machinery, which cost 60000 Next, for the sales forecast of our products in the first quarter of the year, we forecasted sales for 1,200 units of Magic Iron. And the sales increased in the second quarter of the year, which we forecasted sales for 1,450 units due to our campaigns and promotions. However, in the third quarter of the year, uh, we expected that our sales is to be to be lower <coughs> since we only forecasted uh, sales for 1,300 units, which is 150 units less than the second quarter of the year. The reason is because we, ex we expect that the consumer will spend their money more on clothes and foods during the Hari Raya season. So the demands of other goods including the electrical, go electrical goods will drop. <clears throat> and then our sales will start to increase again in the fourth quarter of the year which we forecasted sales for 1,600 units. Although there, is, although there is a slight decrease in the third quarter of the year, uh, we still manage to get, to get profit for our business. Next. So as you can see, this is the budget forecast for the year. During the first quarter of
of the year, we bought a lorry for 28,000 ringgit to send our product to the wholesaler. And as I mentioned before, we also made a loan from Maybank Berhad, which cost 60,000 ringgit for our machinery, and we expected to pay back it to pay it back within five years. So the total of the total amount that we have to pay this year is 12,000. And then um, the highest amount of raw materials that we have to purchase is during the fourth quarter of the year since we have to produce a lot of magic iron due to the high demand of our products. And in order to introduce our product to the consumer, we also plan to advertise our product through media and also personal selling. All in all, we predict that our total expenses is lower than our total income and that is why we managed to get to get profit for this business. Next. So, this is our break even analysis. So, this amount of 2023 units is the, the amount of magic iron that we have to sell to the consumer in order to gain back our capital. So, uh, which is equal to 406,600 ringgit. So, if we manage to sell more than 2,033 units, we will gain profit. Otherwise, if we only sell, sell, sell them less than 2,033 units, we will get loss. And next, I will pass to Mrs. Iman for the last part of our presentation. For exit strategy, we use two types of exit strategy. The first one is merger and acquisition. We plan to sell our company to a higher group, which is the largest uh, home appliances brand in the world from China. We believe higher group has the capability to manage our company uh, since it is a large company and have enough experience to handle this kind of situation. For the second exit strategy, we use, uh, we, we use liquidation and close. In financial and economics, liquidation is an event which occurs when a company cannot, um, its company uh, almost bankrupt and cannot pay its obligation. So uh, we we going to liquidize and dispose the assets that company has. And once we got the cash, we will use the money to pay all the obligation. And if let's say there is excess money uh, after we pay the debts, we will use uh, the money will be equally distributed among the partners. So all in all, that's all from us. We hope that we can cooperate with you in the future because we think differently. <laughs>